Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for education, analysis, and opportunities in blockchain and crypto. My name is Lucas. I'm Jacob. And we have an amazing video, another awesome technical, uh, well, there's a little bit of technical understanding of what's going on, but a follow-up video on one of the, I guess, the most dynamic and, and innovative aspects of cryptocurrency and blockchain in order for it to grow, and that's interoperability and you know we see all this development on bitcoin all this development on ethereum we see development on harmony one on polka dot on you know many you know go down the list right and the idea is how do we bridge these communities there's wrapped eth there's wrapped bitcoin and we we see already value in, you know, inter interchangeable uh, or kind of interoperable on these changes, but but how do we kind of bridge them together and make it more fluid? How do we help that flow? How do we help them all flow together instead of be kind of separate and, and, and br build bridges between them? Yeah. And Jacob, what's you found the name of a project that uh, we did not too long ago on a video about cross-chain swaps right because because yeah, right yeah. right now cross-chain swaps you know uniswap swapping in between within a chain is, is one thing which is great a decentralized exchange but that's still uh in, you know intra chain if you will and and what we're looking for is interchain uh i think so to go between change chains and w one of those protocols let me scroll down here um is what's the name of it boom relay relay chain so relay chain and you learn more about it and really they are kind of a, a backbone and one of the more innovative protocols out there that that are working to um, make it easy to move liquidity between chains is that about right oh yeah so the cool thing about Relay Chain is they actually have a, a, they're focusing on bridging, right? So when you're bridging, you're using the Relay token to bridge from one ecosystem to another, and you do that here either bridging from Ethereum to Shiden, Shiden to Ethereum to Matic to Pol to to all these different blockchains, Harmony, um, Phantom, uh, just uh, you name it, Moon River. Um, cool part is they just introduced a new feature of their token just single-sided staking and so single-sided staking is currently available on polygon moon river and avalanche but eventually they're going to bring it across all of the platforms and so imagine being able to take your relay token and earn whatever gas token it is that you wanted whatever token you're bridging to you could just earn that and the way they actually pay that out is based off of the fees that they take for bridging your tokens. And so it's pretty interesting because if you look at the rate of how much bridging is going on, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> you can see that they have a, a lot of, uh, of things that are going on within their, within their fee distribution the way that they're kind of splitting it up on top of that, they have the single sided staking as the incentive mechanism for, let's say you or me to be able to take tokens out of supply, right? So you have to think of this as kind of an economic force. You're, you're taking tokens out of supply and you're locking it up for a period of time. And that period of time is uh, 14 days whenever you're doing the uh, single sided staking. And so when you're doing that, that's something that's going to be a bit better than you, you, you would actually think because not only is this token earning the gas token of whatever chain that you want, the token itself, Relay, is actually deflationary. They're taking Relay tokens out of the supply and permanently burning it. So with Relay being a deflationary token that earns you gas tokens for locking it up for a period of time it's it's some interesting mechanics that uh that come into play like within their economics of their system 
Well, that's a beautiful function for a gov. Uh, it's you know, it's a lot of these exchanges have governance token, and here you have a cross chain swap that has a token that you can stake and earn not just more of that token, but you can actually earn Avalanche, which is uh, you know, blue chip um, smart contract protocol. Moon River as well, just released on Kusama Polygon. Uh, layer two and EVM off of Ethereum, so th this is great. And as you said, they'll they'll I'm sure he gets 20k rewards. We'll see um, how, how much longer they can rock this out. But those are great incentives to be able to earn rewards in a native token for a chain, uh, while also providing cross chain swaps uh, with relay token that again can be swapped out on those relative chains right so you would swap out relay if you want ethereum you would take your relay and then you would uh, swap it to the relay on eth and then go take it to uniswap or sushi swap or wherever and and swap it out and the same thing with avalanche or um, these different networks you would go to their relevant um AMMs, their DEXs, and find out where the the relay is that you would swap it out with a different token. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. And what I like about it is the stability of the ecosystem. Uh, they go for the, the wrapping, the token method. And so having like relay across many different chains is like a wrapped version of itself is just a really stable way for them to grow cross chain. And it's a very proven way too. So uh, you don't have to worry about uh, your funds being lost, hopping from chain to chain. Well, like you said, it's cool. The tokenomics, you know, we'll we'll link this below. Uh, of course, we haven't mentioned it, so we might as well just throw it in here now. This is educational information, and it's our research, and it's entertainment. This is not financial advice. We're not financial advisors. It's not any type of advice, um, you know, really. This is a new technology that we're excited to, to to watch develop and be a part and to share what we understand and, and to learn as much as we can. Uh, there's so much more learning that, that we can figure out. We really rely upon the research of others, our friends, the community. And there are some there are many great crypto blockchain ambassadors out there on different networks that are sharing research and their understanding. So we appreciate your support. If you like this kind of content, we we do have some more technical how-tos. If you'd like to get involved in DeFi on different platforms, we've got a video on Avalanche. We have a video on Phantom. We've got one coming out, um, of course, uh, on Harmony One and Luna and others. But you know, if you like how-tos, get involved in DeFi and, and provide liquidity and all that fun stuff, as well as market updates and what's going on in the world of crypto. We kind of do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And uh, Jacob is often in the NFT mix, in the metaverse, bit, uh, metaverse mix, and also in the technical side of things, which is why this is actually a follow-up video on Relay Chain that now that I've gotten this is disclaimer out of the way, I'll let you uh, rock back to it. But uh, of course, we'll link all these articles below. And this is uh, great. This is a great follow-up, brother. And that's a, that's a great service that they are providing. And of course, if you're going to hold a portion of your digital assets in Relay Token for the purpose of going cross-chain, you're going to want to know what the tokenomics are, right? And they're telling you right here that they have a deflationary mecha mechanism of buybacks and, and and burns so it's that's that's good to know that's another um positive on the relay chain tokenomics uh let's see now you also did you is it uh cool to move to the tweet or is there some more in this article yeah, yeah. a uh, versus goliath yeah, so I found this very interesting. Uh, this is someone's viewpoint on Relay Chain 
and just kind of like a, a short thread on how it works versus like a traditional staking mechanism. And so basically he, he talks about how the relay token itself um, is locked up for 14 days. And so it's a 14 day one-sided, single-sided staking. So you have no risk to impermanent loss, unlike when you have to take two particular digital assets, lock them in an AMM, mm -hmm. and if one happens to fluctuate from that price peg that you got into, then the other one gets sold off to reach the price of the other one. And so you could end up with more assets in one particular token than you want, and that's what impermanent loss is, is, is impermanent loss within your investment. And this is a solution to impermanent loss, single-sided staking. Currently, it's amazing seeing their transaction volume that they have. If you actually look at this chart, you can see the relay, uh, all the data from relay chain. And it just goes to speak the volume of people using this as a service on top of the, the single-sided staking mechanism that gives it a utility as well. So I, I see it as two utilities to uh, take a look into this because when you have something that's deflationary, that's relying on the network effect to be able to uh, grow in value, at a certain point, it hits this snowball effect and everything just keeps going and going and going and going. Um, eventually, ev everything that goes up must come down at some point. That's market forces for you. But uh, it it's really interesting to see uh, good utility behind a good market theory. And I really love what Relay Chain is doing as far as like they kind of hitting this happy medium, you know? Oops. Meant to click transfer. I love it, brother. This is a good follow up. Um, and it's awesome to know what they're providing because that is rare. Impermanent loss is absolutely an issue throughout decentralized exchanges and providing liquidity all across the board. Um, however, when you have something that allows for single sided staking, uh, obviously. Now this is temporary, they have a limited rewards and we'll see how long they keep this going and how many other chains and how much Relay continues to grow. But at the moment, they seem to be trending up with how many people are using it. Of course, as more people learn about it and as more people bridge, you know, we've got some videos we just did some on the dow stable coins and what's going on with olympus wonderland and and Klima. there's hector on phantom coming out and one down others for harmony one it's just so all these different ecosystems right or abracadabra and, and mem and people you look at you look at many web 3.0 sites and they come equipped to bridge to avalanche phantom Finance, you know, um, and pretty soon, uh, Harmony One, Moon River, you know, they, they're ready to interact with multiple chains. So for to allow many people are like, well, how do I uh, how do I access this chain or that chain without uh, a centralized exchange? And this is where uh, relay, this is where relay chain comes into play, and a lot of these ecosystems that are being built to be interoperable, I feel this is really what they're working to do, right? They're working to um, have a bridge that they create themselves and offer that through solid tokenomics. So um, this is one of who knows how many will come out this year and in what other ways, but at the moment, um, any swap seems to be the primary source behind a lot of different interoperable exchanges behind, you know, web 3.0 websites, right? Like if you go to spooky swap or other websites, the swap that's being done is actually being done through any swap. So, um, the, the it's reality nice to see a competitor, you know, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. 
So, and, and it's open, how open the tokenomics are and how it works. So that, this is very cool, very cool. And they, they're growing and it's, and it's early on. And this is early on in crypto and blockchain. So if you're just now getting into crypto or blockchain, you think, oh man, uh, I missed the boat. No, the boat's still at the dock. You know, people are just learning how to sail. A lot of these platforms are on developments on smart contracts. They're, they're just beginning this year, next year. So no one's missed anything. It's um, You're absolutely at the beginning of a evolution and a, a, an amazing time to be alive. This is a, a absolutely a beautiful technology uh, with some beautiful potential to not just bridge between blockchains, but a bridge uh, communication and and economies and many other things in the world change the way we do things in many ways. That's why we're so excited to talk about all the different updates of what's going on, these economic perspectives and blockchain and crypto and the potential, because the more we understand the potential, the more we can harness what it's here to do and what we can do with it. Uh, this is a great find. One of these technologies is Relay Chain, Relay app with offering a solution for people to, in a decentralized way, take their digital assets from one chain to another. So, pardon. Um, yeah. What do you think, brother? I think it's time to relay to the next video. <laughs> All right. Well, until the next time, have a beautiful day and namaste. Later.